So they're serving frost, frosted cake at the wedding, are they? Not if we serve them in defeat first. Yeah. So even if we're going back to to a previous area, we gotta learn that how to hold, learn some basic moves. You already know how to do cutscene. Hooey, this hood is hot. Oh, you can't open the Odyssey. So that's where all this stuff is going, I guess. And we can actually change our hoods in here. Yeah, I should have done this back in the Sky Place. If only I knew. So, I was watching a guy's Let's Play, and I saw one of those, um, secret doors that require the outfit for this world. So, we're going back to Mexicano Mario for a bit. It's this guy. He actually made it back here. The taxi, taxi! You pulled up finally! Take me to the Metro Kingdom! Sorry about the holdup. That's some car trouble you would not believe. Can't leave for the Metro Kingdom yet, though. I promise I'll get you there. Just gotta dice the de ice the everything. Okay, so maybe we'll see him in a future mission if we go back to Metro Kingdom. Yep, here's the place. Just like us, party like us. That's what we say anyway. So, Steppy Hat, check. Sassy Poncho, double check. You are ready to party. Head inside. Oh, it's just this again. That's really all we have to do. Would have been nice if we had to do a button prompt with that, like we did in Kingdom Hearts 2 or Nightmare Before Christmas when it comes to these song types. We can paint Mario the Thousand Year Door. Gotta push the right buttons when Peach dances with herself. I also kind of know where the last seed is. So I guess we might as well get that, then we'll get all the other power moons while we're waiting for that to grow. It's right here. Gorgeous. It's really peaceful. Maybe we can get that seed while we're here. Come on. <laughs> That's one way to open it. Mario, seriously, throw it in the frickin' thing. <sighs> oh my god! What a pain. There we go. Seen on the cliff. Now, the only other one I can think of is the one at the at the um. Well, that's not the oasis, is it? So the one at the oasis, because I know how to use like Kidu now. <laughs> Whoopsie. So, oh yeah. Okay, the blue is the oasis, the purple is the poison. It kind of threw me off because of how bigger it was. So where's the big one at?
I'll add the little button down at least. Come on, where is the stupid thing? I gotta say, I've always loved fishing mechanics in video games, including Sonic Adventure, because I love, I just love fish in general. But I agree, it is tedious and annoying. Perfect. Now where's the big one? There's the big one. Finally, you took a lot of sugar stuff, didn't you? It would be nice if these fish were more unique, but nope, it's just standard cheap sheeps. Vulture is a nice sound effect, though. So those were the only ones I could think of that I missed. By any chance would the be one on top of the pyramid? I saw you make your way back up there. In any case, when I was watching the guy's Let's Play, I think I actually saw some coins that I might have missed in the pyramid. Since they're there, might as well get them. Oh, I know how to get you guys now, don't I? There really is something up here. Some kind of mole. He knows I'm here, okay. Oh, you can kind of see him go underneath. That might be my chance. Wow, this thing's tricky. Oh, I swear I had that. You can actually hit it. Good. Lurk under the stone, and we'll never know what kind of horrible creature was waiting under there. And Jack C can come here. 
Why can we bring Jaxie here? Oh, do we actually have to perch them on top of this stone? Move it slowly now, eh? Okay, that's pretty clever. Oh, I know this place, but my days of standing around are done. Wow, this must have a lot of emotional... Emotional relations to Jack C, and I can't think of words. Connection, rather. Oh, look, I get another shot at this. And failing at it. Yay. Whatever. That's a secret! Well, we'll never know now. Extremely clever. I love it. Hidden room in the inverted pyramid. Well, props to this game for such a very clever secret. And conveniently, that brings me over here, but inconveniently, the bullet bills. Oh wait, he can just break through from the other side. Lovely, because the place I actually wanted to be is... Yep, there. See, I did miss some freaking... There's actually no way for me to get in there. Wow, that sucks, honestly. I actually have to go in there from the outside. That's annoying. But how nice to find that little secret. Also, you can actually ground pound those. Didn't realize that. I just wonder, is this sinkhole deadly, or can you actually go in there? You can actually go in there, because... Okay, first of all, jumping into the middle of a sinkhole is the last thing anyone would think of, especially Mario 64 veterans. So, props for being clever. What you also wouldn't expect is for the underside of a sinkhole to be an ice cavern. Deserts sure are weird with their climates. You know, I'm actually quite proud I discovered that secret myself before having to pay the toad. Okay, what's the point of coming over here, though? I guess this is another way up here, but we need this wall jump. Okay. Anything else up here? Eh? No, I guess not. Infinitely rising pillar. Hello, gold coins! Ha, <laughs> there really is something up there. Question is, can we make such a jump? It's 
So it looks like there's only coins, but we can't rule out the possibility that buried under those coins is a moon. Maybe we just have to long jump it. Either way, there's probably something else hidden up here. Well, that's obvious enough, isn't it? <laughs> Guess I'll give it one more go. Okay, that's all I had to do. But, yeah, there really is no moon, just a bunch of coins. But hey, they're nicely hidden coins, so I'm proud to have found them like that. Now, let's get out of here. And that just takes us here for some odd reason. It's an alternate way to get this one, I guess. Can I think of it? What's in there? Oh, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. This is a, this is a whole other area I haven't been to. Okay, looking back, I might have flew down onto that platform with the, the gliding dude. And I just assumed that doing it the normal way was the use to actually get in there and then do a wall jump. But this is actually a whole different area. Well, there's me in my crazy mind, huh? <laughs> and this game is random ass, but clever tricks. And I love it. Hello. Oh my god, this is gonna be tricky as hell. Barely made that one, but that was pretty awesome, though. Stunt driving! Oh, you bet. Oh my god! Freaking long button! Cause like, you have to hold down the shoulder buttons to drift in Mario Kart, so that's where I'm getting that whole push the shoulder buttons to break idea. Maybe I should go around the roundabout. Eh, heck, why not? That was perfection at its finest, eh? Jaxi driver! Okay then, thank you. Well, whoa, we are nowhere near done. Damn. It's like 42 out of freaking 69. Well, that's how I could figure out if it was 37 or 32. I was looking down at the thingy. Anyway, time to start painting the toad. Boy, that's going to be a lot of money. Okay, center 
separate town. I suppose we do have plenty of money. I suppose we'll settle with those ones for now, then. Oh my god, we gotta go under the water, don't we? Is there a secret under the water? Doesn't seem like it. Well, that should have been obvious, but, oh well, live and learn, right? Should have been obvious because the top of the fountain looks like a sombrero. That's, that's hilarious. I guess we got ground pound. I can feel the vibrations under my feet. Right, I meant to go back inside the pyramid so I get those coins. I suppose we are in the right area for that. There's another one. Oh, I bet that was well, that was one. Well, that's not going well, is it? But there's a path there. Hell yeah, there is. So I guess he did trick me once. Clever. Absolutely clever. down there. Oh, it's Mr. Sphinx! Okay, let's solve a riddle, why not? Greetings, Traveler, and your head as well. Answer my riddle. What is the thing much you desire for this land? Good question. The ring? What did he want from this land? Okay, it was the ring. I don't, didn't really remember that, but oh well. Whoa, he is filthy stinking rich, that Sphinx.
Well, that's a cheap guy. Well, now that we're here, we might as well go back inside. So, is that marked on the top of this thing, on the corner, or is it actually um, in the hole or something, on the ground beside it, you know? Anyway, we have to go through this gravity zone again. Invisible coin block. Clever. Always be sure to check everywhere in these locations. Lesson learned. Oh, and that was pretty awesome. So apparently the one I picked up was a completely different one. I guess we are on a different side, aren't we? No, it was on that side! Who am I kidding? Who's this game kidding? We had to solve a different riddle? Okay. One who gulps across the sand. How many coins are required to get on spec? 30. Mm, yes, correct. You are from Wonderful One. Okay. War Visitor, traveling by car. What stopped his journey? Ice. Hold me for a period. How many statues of the sand gobblers are there? Ooh. Five. Because the sixth one is actually Jinx himself. Uh, Jaxie himself. But, did you really know that? There were six, but one is gone, leaving five. Hmm, did you guess? You guessed, didn't you? You're a guesser! What does that mean? This will be a fun... So was that the right answer or not? Because there were actually five, and I know that for a fact because I went up there. What is my name? Sphinx? I like it. I like how they change his name to question marks just so we forget. That's hilarious. Gah! Ugh, grog! You got them all right! Everyone falls eventually, I suppose. Well done, take this. Okay, that was pretty fun. Sank was wonderful. Well, that officially clears up that one. Hmm. 
Clearly it's up on that bad boy. Oh, hello. Whoa, 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 hello! You get back here! Shifty Eagle? Or whatever animal that was. Fine, I'll get him when I get back here. figure that out. I've been, look, been looking around for hours trying to find that. And I'm glad I paid the toad to tell me. Hey, Mr. Vulture. Halt. I don't even know what animal this is. Shit! <clears throat> Didn't mean to do that. Well, that could have gone better. So we're just gonna have to keep rewarping here just so we can respawn that creature. Doesn't look anything like a vulture, honestly. It's a hawk. A desert hawk. I assume those are a thing. Shit! Alright, that was pretty easy. Are you gonna play that game, are you, Mr. Moon? Fine. I'll just get you with some classic platforming. That was fun. That was fun. I'm suspicious about that flag. You know, we already got the moon that was right here. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> 